Eight-year-old is dead and the family is really reeling right now. They are trying to find everything they can about what happened. And yeah, they want to help police with the investigation. WMER2 News' Skylar Henry went to the neighborhood to learn more about what happened last week that led up to her death. Yeah, Kelly, Jamie, take a good look at this photo here. This is Aubrey Hickman. She was supposed to be smiling, playing dress up and putting on her makeup. Instead, her family is grieving and police are investigating how this little girl died so suddenly. Happy to Grace police say it happened here at this home on Green Street. Last week, officers found a toddler in what Corporal Dan Petz can only say was, quote, pretty bad shape. It was a medical emergency slash cardiac arrest for a two-year-old child. So when officers responded, along with other emergency personnel, uh, fire and EMS, the uh, child was in pretty rough condition. The child was identified as Aubrey Hickman. Neighbors say little Aubrey and her mother lived on the top level of this apartment. Police made the short trip right around the corner from the headquarters inside the home and realized there was more to this story. Officers who were there noticed some other unusual injuries and determined that uh, crime was afoot and they called detectives to come in and investigate it further. Pets didn't want to go in depth about those injuries. However, he says it was enough to airlift Aubrey to Johns Hopkins Children's Hospital where she died. Her mother Haley posting on Facebook two days ago saying, quote, no matter what, you will always be my baby girl. I feel so lost without you here with me as this case now turns to a criminal investigation. There's no threats to the public, but if anybody in the public has any information about this case, to please call the Habit of Grace detective. Now there's already an obituary up. According to it, Aubrey loved her dolls and watching Paw Patrol and singing and dancing to Baby Shark. Now police say at this point, no one has been charged and no one has been arrested in connection to Aubrey's death. Mm.